Welcome to Poseidon Tech. Some videos ago, we have checked Yolink products, which seems to be very interesting. The heart of this ecosystem is this hub, and more specific, this speaker hub, which we have here. So, all the input devices, like this slick sensor, or this indoor motion sensor, or this outdoor motion sensor, connect to the hub and can trigger some output device, like this siren. But what will happen if we remove this hub? Yolink products are advertised as devices that can work without internet, without power and without network. Let's see if this is true. We'll try to connect these two devices as device to device. And check if we can trigger this siren using this leak sensor. In order to do so, we need to press this button for 5 seconds until this LED blinks green. We need to do the same thing on the siren. And that's it. Now the two devices are connected, device to device, without the need of a hub. Let's test it. As you can see, it works perfect, although the hub is not connected. So the advertised device to device functionality seems to work fine. And don't forget that these are using LoRa. Now, in order to unpair these two devices, you need to press the button for 15 seconds, more or less, until it starts blinking red and do the same thing on the other device. It is ready. Now the two devices are not connected. The procedure to connect device to device is the same for all the devices. For example, you can use the same procedure to connect this outdoor motion sensor with a siren. Now it's time to move to another area. Yolink is supported by Home Assistant. So, let's add our device to this testing Home Assistant instance. We need to go to Settings, Devices, Add Integration, Search for Yolink. You have been forwarded to this page. Login to Yolink using your credentials. And done. That's it. All devices under your account will appear here. Select the area for each device and press Finish. We have nine devices here. Door sensor, where we have the battery and the status of the door. Leak sensor, similar, but here we have also the temperature, since the leak sensor includes a temperature. Motion sensor, which apart from the battery and the motion status includes also temperature. Outdoor motion sensor, similar. Again, temperature sensor here. Siren, which we can trigger. Temp and humidity sensor, battery humidity and temperature. Another door sensor, the fob, which will have only the battery, at least for now, and the relay. Very easy integration to Home Assistant. We can add this to the dashboard, like we can do with all devices in Home Assistant. Let's add a couple of them. And that's it. I have to admit that I'm using Yolink products from some time now and seems to be very robust. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please press like and consider subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.